Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. First of all, wish you all a very happy new year and thank you all for your love and support and subscribing to this channel. So in this week's episode, I'll talk about ChatGPT and address some of the questions around it. Like will ChatGPT replace Google search engine or will ChatGPT replace human jobs in future? And I also share my perspective on ChatGPT while answering those questions. So let's get started. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI conversation chatbot. You can ask questions to ChatGPT and will provide detailed responses. You can then ask follow-up questions on the responses. While AI chatbots are not new, the detailed responses and conversation you can have with ChatGPT on a wide variety of domains be it technology, travel, generating marketing content, or writing an essay makes it quite interesting. And ChatGPT is trained on a massive data set of unstructured and structured data and provide dynamic human-like responses based on the training data. And it's available to everyone over the web, which makes it accessible to everyone. So here's a quick demo on ChatGPT. Simply log into the website and ask a question and follow up based on the responses. But with all these capabilities, will chat GPT or in general any conversation AI engine replace human jobs in future or search engines like Google? To answer this question, I like to call out my quote from my book, AI can learn but can't think. So thinking would always be left to humans on how to use the output of an AI system. AI systems and the knowledge will always be boxed to what it has learned, but can never be generalized like humans, where domain expertise and intelligence are required. The fundamental issue with conversation AI, be chat GPT or early Watson systems, is a lack of domain intelligence. So what is an example of a domain intelligence? Let's take a very simple example where you ask the conversation AI engine to suggest outfits for shorts and sari. Fundamentally, any skilled person would treat a suggestion as two different options, like find me matching outfits with shorts and matching outfits with sari or maybe ask clarifying questions or suggest these options are disjoint and can't be combined. But with chat GPT or for that matter, any general purpose conversation AI, the responses would be as shown in this video. Clearly without understanding the domain and the context, trying to fill in some responses. So this is a very simple example, but the complexity grows exponentially, where deep expertise and correlations are required, like a doctor recommending options for treatment. And this is the very precise reason where we saw many failures when AI agents were used to solve health problems. They tried to train general purpose AI rather than building domain expert AI systems. Another point is explainability making the AI output explainable and how it is arrived. And I've described this in my earlier video and explainability might be one of the legal requirements in future. So while chat GPT definitely advances conversation AI, a lot of time and effort would have gone into building this. So in my view, chat GPT and other AI chatbots to follow will be similar to any other tool to assist you with the required information and you will use your thinking and intelligence to get the work done. With, see, any technology will have its own set of limitations, including chat GPT. And my intent was to bring awareness around this so you could build chatbot applications, keeping all these limitations in mind. So to conclude, I like to say is sit back and relax. The current version of chat GPT or maybe any AI conversation agent in future 
will not replace anything which requires intelligence and human expertise till then signing off happy learning